so they had alarm yesterday. You know, this is a this is a waste plant. Everything's pumped. There's nothing gravity here. Everything has to be pumped up. So pumping is is the heartbeat of this facility. Hey, Jamie. The pumps have not been in here. Uh, I think the oldest one has been just over a year and a half now. But in that year and a half, right off the bat, the pump control system not only caught problems, but saved us downtime, saved us maintenance cost and improve the reliability immediately. I guess, you know, just the fact that we sold something that, that prevented a lot of issues is, is what I'm most proud of. You know, these MP204s, I don't think people understand the value of them, and I, I can't say as I did until this happened. So what happened is when I got called in at two o'clock in the morning, three, Operators down here trying to troubleshoot the pumps, waiting on me. I'm about to have a spill. And we got these MP204s on all the pumps. We just use this cabinet here for the three pumps on this side. It would keep on flashing the code right there, current and balance. So at that time, we switched to the generator over here and then called our local power company. And they told us that indeed they did have a power failure in one of their substations and so at that time we just went off the generator they gave us a call after they got it fixed a couple hours later swapped it over back to the regular power and the pump fired right up so in all by the time you made the trip here at three o'clock in the morning to the time you found the problem to then, for how long probably about 20 minutes you understand 20 minutes 20 minutes now in the past and I'm bringing this up, in the past, how long, if you did not have that cable, how long would it have taken you? You did. determined that it was the power company's problem. And it could have been all night. Yeah. That's could the, have been all night yeah, long. because you'd have been troubleshooting every line, and then you might have got lucky. And that's just the first instant. These, as we started getting better with the system and understanding it a little bit more, when we had the, uh, the error. The underload. The underload. Uh, like I said, the only thing that that could cause that was the no liquid, no liquid, and so therefore our our level set point on the bottom control level that would have cut the pump off was too low, which was which we caused it. Uh, one was it told us basically it was telling us that you guys have got your level too low, and I ain't got no water, so I can't work. So, mm -hmm. so it didn't so damage did, equipment again. It didn't damage equipment again. It shut it off. But the biggest thing I would say would be the maintenance cost and reliability and being able to see it real time as things are happening. And that is a value that I think anybody in this industry would want. Well, it was really good for me because I was going fishing that morning. <laughs> so to be able to find out the problem that fast, not be here all day, mess up my fishing trip and all that, I mean, it, it's real nice. It, it, like I say, it saved a bunch of troubleshooting. But the most of all to me, I think, besides the troubleshooting, I think it saved the equipment. I mean, equipment is what costs the most. You're not talking about small pumps and have them rebuilt or have it replaced. You know, it's more than what that MP204 would have cost.